Tim Cook weighing in on work from home trends during an interview with the Atlantic Festival. Cook said that he's impressed by how Apple employees have adapted to working remotely. Uh, but he added that some changes might remain after the pandemic. Take a listen. It's not like being together physically. And so I, I can't wait uh, for everybody to be able to come back into the office. I, I don't believe that we'll return to the way we were because we found that there are some things that actually work really well virtually. That's an interesting departure, Jim, from what Larry Fink and Reed Hastings and certainly Barry Diller have said over the past couple of weeks. Well, I think that when you're out there with Cupertino traffic, uh, when you're out there spending all your time in your car, when you're out there trying to, if you're a believer in, in, in climate change and the idea that you don't want to add to it, uh, when you have Zoom working really well, I think that Tim Cook's right. Uh, I think you don't need to go out much and you don't need to take these big trips. And, but I think mostly the central office is going to be visited at times and not visited at other times. I think that's yeah. the way it's going to be. I, I think a working assumption that after the pandemic passes, as soon as possible, of course, that 10 to 15 percent of any workforce will be working remotely at any one time is probably a fair assumption. Yeah, I like um, will it be more than that at some companies? Will it be less? But that seems to be somewhere in the neighborhood, at least from what I hear from chief executives and other senior executives in terms of their expectations, given what they've seen when it comes to productivity, given what they've seen when it comes to sort of work-life balance, anything you want to go down, uh, any road you want to go down, that, that, that's what they've sort of indicated. So it is going to be a change. Right. And by the way, Jim, as well, we've talked a lot about it. Uh, you know, people are, uh, business people are not going to be as likely to get on a plane and take a long trip no. if they don't have to. I